All right, the Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into law last year, includes a tax credit of up to $7,500. But the IRS just announced new changes to the EV tax credit. So if you're in the market for an electric vehicle, the federal government offers an incentive to purchase these vehicles up to $7,500 per eligible electric car for individuals. But there are some new changes, which makes getting the tax credit as cash a lot easier. Joining us to talk all about that is CPA Kimberly Washington. Kimberly, as always, really appreciate you. Thank you. So i got to ask you, first tell us about the clean vehicle tax credit and how it works. Right, so of course, if you're in the market and you're thinking about getting an EV electric vehicle, there's some good news for you, and that's because you can get up to $7,500 tax credit that may be available to you. Do keep in mind that, of course, this is available not only for new cars, but also used cars as well. When it comes to used cars, the maximum amount is up to $4,000, of course, 30% of the sales price, but keep in mind if you're interested you do want to head over to fueleconomy.gov and they have a whole list of vehicles that may qualify for this tax credit now kim how can someone qualify for the credit right it is really based on your income so depending on your income will determine whether or not you qualify when it comes to new cars rather the first thing you want to look at if you're married filing joint your income has to be less than three hundred thousand dollars or less of course that is your adjusted gross income for all other followers, the amount is $150,000. When it comes to used electric vehicles, the amounts are a little bit lower. When it comes to mare filing joint, the amount is $150,000 or less. All other followers, of course, is $75,000. So it does depend on your income. Now, Kim, we know that the IRS just issued new guidance, and now consumers can get up to $7,500 yes. for cash cash yes on the spot <laughs> on the so spot everybody won't know everybody won't know how does that work <laughs> so this is really the big deal here and so unlike the, how the credit worked in the past where you had to wait until you file your tax return when you go to the vehicle dealership you can get this money on the spot so $7,500 may be available to you and that's starting in January of next year you can either choose the money up front or you can use the money towards the car to reduce of course your payments or the cost of the car before the new rules of course you did have to wait until tax time and the best thing about about it is that even if you don't even owe taxes when you file your taxes next year you still have this money and you don't have to pay it back as long as you do qualify and Kim finally what happens if a person receives the cash at the time of the sale Yes. but no longer qualifies for the tax credit. Right, so if you're in that situation, of course, maybe you stated that your income was under a certain threshold, but it's really not. You may have to pay this money back when you do file your tax return. So you do want to make certain that you look at different rules and regulations, and again, you'll go straight to the dealership, let them know you're interested in this tax credit, and the money would be available starting in January at the time of your purchase. So this, of course, is some good news for so many people right now. Kim, this is kind of like, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is kind of like a current day cash for clunkers. Remember you can, that? You can think of about it that That's way. What it kind of seems like, you <laughs> just know? a little bit, just, just, a, little just, bit. just, a, just, a, just a little bit, yeah. Giving but. us <laughs> everything we need to know to save in our bottom dollar. Kimberly Washington, as always, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Barbie. Yes, Have a great day. I guess. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right.